What's going on YouTube? This is an update on the 29 bottle insignia wine cooler and to show you guys the finished product of my wine slash coffee countertop. So let's start with the counter. Uh, the counter top is made of oak and he put this chemical called epoxy that gives it that real glossy look. I don't want to get any closer because then the, the picture is going to get all distorted. Um, it gives it that glassy, shiny look. Uh, and before he put that on, he told us to print out pictures of um, wineries, of uh, grapes and um, and coffee because that would give it the actual look of what the counter is meant to be uh, the theme of what it's meant to be which is a, a coffee in white station uh, i think it looks uh, great he did an awesome job with that uh, the back it kind of looks like a, a backsplash but it's not it's uh, it's this rock finish rock tile uh, we picked that up from um home depot it was actually a pretty decent price we paid less than 300 dollars for uh to get the whole wall done um i guess they only had a very few boxes left but there were just the boxes i needed to give it that nice finished look um the the shelves uh, we made two or he made two right now i'm not too worried about uh, buying uh, tequilas or, or hard liquor I'm more uh, focused on my wine but you can see it's got the wine um, uh, glasses the, the hangers for the wine glasses uh, I have beer uh, uh, glasses there too and the coffee cups uh, I need just an espresso machine to give it a nice finished look on top of that and I think that would be that'd be it now moving into the actual uh, wine shelving. There's something I like to tell you about the, the wine cooler. Um, it is for 29 bottles of wine, but they have to be the skinny type of uh, wine bottles. Let me see if I can show you without losing uh, the quality picture. Uh, they have to be the skinny uh, wine bottles because if you go with the thicker one, the, the chubby ones, they won't fit. I'm going to show you here. Um, it's just, they have to be the skinnier ones, the thicker ones. It's not going to fit. So it won't hold 29 if you're buying thicker bottles. They have to be the, the skinny, uh, regular size bottles. And now that we're at it, if I may, I'd like to show you maybe some of the wines that I like the most. Uh, they're actually pretty uh, inexpensive bottles. But this these two are probably uh, two of my favorites. Uh, they're Cooper and Thief, the Pinot Noir, and the Red Blend. They run about $25 each, depending where you buy your wine, but I, they're, they're great bottles. Um, I, I love them for the price, you can't beat it. Uh, moving to the actual shelves, um, I have three on each side. Well, on this side I have three. And it's pretty cool because you can actually put four bottles in each. So I got a total of 12 bottles here, 12 bottles uh, bottles there, uh, maybe 25 bottles I can put in there. And I have I can put eight more there and then uh, six more down there for a total of 14. So that's actually pretty nice. Uh, I'm trying to uh, put everything in uh, sections or regions, as they call them. I got all my Italian, uh, Italian wine here. Uh, this wine is the Primitivo, the 62 uh, anniversary. Uh, Primitivo is basically the uh, Italian version of Sinfandel. I'm no wine expert, but this is this is a really good wine. Uh, I, I like my wine not too dry, not too sweet. Uh, somewhere right in the middle, and, and Primitivo is, is great to do just that. Uh, another wine that I really enjoy, it's the Amarone. Or Amaroni. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it. Uh, these are a little bit more expensive wines, but they're they're really good. Uh, they're very fla um, their flavor is awesome. Like I said, I like them right in the middle. 
And Italians talk a lot about their Barolos. So I got two Barolos here. Um, I haven't tried them yet. I'm waiting to finish my patio. So we can cook a nice juicy steak and I'm going to try them with that. Uh, down here I have two more um, bottles. Uh, these bottles are supposed to be very good. I haven't tried them, but I hear very good things about them. Here's another um, Primitivo, a red uh, blend. And then I got my Italian whites down here. Over here I have uh, three more Italians. I have my uh, American wine, my Napa Valley. These are really good wines too. I like... Uh, I like red blends, especially the ones that are aged in different types of barrels. This is uh, aged three months in uh, barrels of rum. These are uh, aged in whiskey barrels, and so is this one. I have one more. This one's aged in uh, tequila barrels. And then this one is also aged on um, whiskey barrels. Uh, as you can tell, I really like Cooper and Thief. A uh, very, very good winery and, uh, for the price is great. This is about 50 bucks. Uh, these are uh, cheaper. And like I said, this is probably my favorite one out of all of them. Uh, then I have my um, Australian Shiraz. I have, I've tried some Spanish wines. I like the Tempranillo, which is probably the most popular uh, grape in Spain. It's very good. Here's another American, uh, Three Finger Jack. And then I have a Macedonian. This one's about $10. Real cheap, but that's actually a really, really nice wine. On this side, I have all my French wine. Um, like I said, I'm no wine expert, but when it comes to French wine, it's uh, they're a little bit more difficult to tell exactly what you're buying. I know uh, Bordeaux is a very uh, popular uh, region in France for wine and also uh, Burgundy. Uh, this wine was in the Burgundy section uh, where I buy my wine and I bought a different type of wine with the same the same winery made it but it wasn't a Pinot Noir it was a different one it was um, Beaujolais. Uh, I believe that's another region close to um, Burgundy but when I saw this one the winery with the Pinot Noir, I figured I'll try it because uh, I think it's a, actually pretty, a pretty good winery. I like, I like them. Down here, I have two more French. And then these two are American. This is Sinfandel. Uh, this is a great Sinfandel. And they're about $30, so it's actually really good wine for the price. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I, I like, I have quite a few bottles, more than I thought I would in this small pace, uh, space and one more thing that I actually thought was pretty cool is that I, I got lights in the back of my uh, wine and coffee bar uh, there's also it's controlled by a remote control let me turn this off but then we have the on and off switch and you can switch colors there too so I'm very very happy with uh, the work the carpenter did I think uh, he did an awesome job in the near future, maybe I'd do something else on this on this wall. I like to uh, buy maybe a few more bottles of wine and and have everything um, by region. Maybe uh, the old wines, uh, French, Italian, uh, Spanish, or South American, because I know Argentina and Chile they make really good wines too. But this is what I have. Uh, I'm very happy, very content. Hopefully it gives you a pretty good idea if you want to do something similar. And thanks for watching.